Young Thomas Stone rode 10 miles to school every day. Do you know how long it would take to ride a horse 10 miles? Thomas Stone. Thomas Stone. Thomas Stone. In 1743, Thomas Stone was born in Charles County, Maryland to a prominent family at Pointed Manor. From an early age, Thomas was persistently hungry for knowledge. And finally, at the age of 15, young Thomas got permission from his father to study Greek and Latin at a nearby school. Except that the school wasn't all that nearby. The school was over 10 miles away from the family estate. But not allowing this obstacle to prevent him from his learning, Thomas would wake up every morning and ride the distance on horseback, always arriving on time. After finishing this segment of his education, Thomas was very anxious to get started studying law. Unfortunately, Thomas's father wasn't able to support him through law school. So Thomas began working under Thomas Johnson, a respectable lawyer in Annapolis. At the age of 21, Thomas Stone was accepted to the Maryland State Bar, and he quickly established his practice in Fredericktown, Maryland. At the age of 28, having established his law practice, Thomas married Margaret Brown, and he purchased a 400-acre plantation with the dowry gift. The young couple was extremely devoted to each other, and soon they began raising their family of three children. Thomas was a quiet man who hated the idea of war and favored reconciliation with Britain. But as we know, this would not be possible. On July 8th of 1775, he signed the Olive Branch Petition of the Congress in an effort of reconciliation. His views were well expressed in this letter. Quote, You know my heart wishes for peace upon terms of security and justice to America, but war, anything, is preferable to the surrender of our rights. As Thomas realized that there was no other option than declaring independence from Britain, he signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, about the age of 33. Thomas went on to serve his nation by being on the committee that authored the Articles of Confederation, and then later as a delegate to the Maryland legislature advocating for the newly formed government. He served in this role from 1779 to 1785, at which point he left his seat to tend to his wife, who was very ill at the time. Margaret had come down with smallpox, and the vaccine didn't help her either. So Thomas stayed right by her side, tending to her every need until her death in 1787. And since the two of them were so deeply in love, well, he became depressed with his loneliness. And without the love of his life and his companion, Thomas too passed away later in that same year, October 5th, 1787, about the age of 45, reportedly from a broken heart. Charles Augustus Goodrich Rights of Thomas. Mr. Stone was a professor of religion and distinguished for a sincere and fervent piety. To strangers, he had the appearance of austerity, but among his intimate friends, he was affable, cheerful, and familiar. In his disposition, he was uncommonly amiable and well-disposed. In person, he was tall but well-proportioned. Do you know that it would take about two to three hours to ride a horse 10 miles? And Thomas did that every morning just so that he could get a good education. Wow.
the end.